Fito, beautiful and healthy hair through plants. It all started in Paris in the 1950s when Patrick Alès was a salon apprentice. He noticed that chemically loaded products were taking a serious toll on the hands of the hairdressers and the integrity of their clients' hair. Fascinated by nature, he decided to study the power of plants and the role they might play to reveal hair's natural beauty. In 1965, Patrick Alès launched his own hair care brand along with the opening of his very own salon near the Champs Elysees, where celebrities like Brigitte Bardot, Jackie Kennedy, or Catherine. And milk enjoyed Fito's powerful and beautiful results. Fito, plants in Greek, was born. It was an instant smash, and the products became soon available throughout the world. Today, Fito continues to combine 50 years of botanical expertise with advanced plant science in our high-tech, dedicated laboratories in France. Our products have the highest concentration of pure plant extracts on today's beauty market. Our formulas are over 95% botanical and up to 100% of zero parabens. Silicones or harsh sulfates. This award-winning hair care line meets the expectations of the most demanding hairstylists and clients. Both sensuous and serious, Fito is the ultimate brand in luxury hair care. Fito, it's classic, chic, botanic. Good evening, everyone. Something happened to my mic. Welcome to the next edition of Eto Passion Project. How is everyone today? Are you all good? Did you enjoy your two long weekends? And are you also looking forward to the next long weekend? Oh, sorry, the next weekend. Not long anymore. Yep. So I'm Lin Tan. I'm really excited to be with you here today. And also with me, I have a very special guest. Um, she's a really special lady, which I got to know through another special friend of mine, and she has a great story to share. And this is why I, I invited her onto the show. She is not Singaporean; she comes from Indonesia. She's a mother of three, and a very successful entrepreneur, and a avid and also fantastic photographer. Um, she's also a woman of a big, big heart. And I'd like to welcome our special guest today, which is Miss Yanti Persali. Yanti. I need you to join us. Okay. Oh, there. Yeah. Hi. 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 How are you? <laughs> Good. How are you? Hi, Lynn. Thanks for Thanks having for me joining. here. Thanks for joining. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how have you been? Good. And yeah. I received well, a lot of well. your products. Today, we're going to talk about a lot of stuff today. Some are... <laughs> Mine and some, yeah. So this is great. <laughs> <laughs> Likewise, I have yes. a new hairdo. Yes, let's talk a bit about hair uh, because we just got Sorry. a new haircut. Because I always see you in a really nice bob. You got this famous bob that you always had for quite some time. Very black, dark hair. But then now you have a nice haircut. Maybe it's for today's program. I don't know. And you've also But been using um, keto for some time. Yes. I have, I have, and um, it actually um, I got to know it from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I've, I've, I've read about it. I've heard about it. I think you've been around for a very long time, but I've not actually gone out to use it. And then, then, then we got introduced by that special friend. Yes. <laughs> and then, yeah. And then I, then I went to visit the store. Um, your sales girl is amazing, and she, she actually Thank explained you. everything for me. And she did the um the test. Oh, the scalp and analysis. The scalp analysis. Yeah, it was amazing. And then yeah, and she uh, suggested some things 
which are actually very, very good. And I am actually hooked on it. That I actually brought my two girls. <laughs> that I actually brought my two girls to actually give it a try as well. So they had their scalp analysis too. And they're actually using the, using your product as well. So Yay. we are all a Tito family here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. And how old are your kids? Uh, I have a 25 years old girl oh, here with 25. me. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they go by so fast. And uh, my 23 is in New York. She's wow. another girl. And I have another boy in Los Angeles in school too. So, yep, wow. three grown up kids. So I know. Girl, girl, boy. So, so am I. Mine is also girl, girl, yeah. boy. Girl, girl, boy. Yeah. Yeah. But yes, yeah, so a different of what? Like a decade? <laughs> I think yes. My eldest is 15. Yeah, your eldest yeah, is 25. Think, yeah. But yeah, my youngest yeah, is only good. four. <laughs> mm. They're and, so uh, cute. I mean, enjoy, enjoy them. They, they yes, grow up so I know. Fast. Yes, I and really. Boys and I'm, girls are so different. Yes, very different. So I'm also enjoying the experience with him. Being my first boy mm. and being the first grandson of the family was quite a new experience oh. for all of us. Uh, so it's quite. <laughs> um, so do you miss them a lot now they can't travel so much? Oh gosh, I miss them so much. I used to just, I used to see them every two to three months. Uh, and the last time I saw them was Christmas. No, New Year's, New Year's. And I've not seen them since. But it's like technology is so good. We Zoom, we video call. So mm -hmm. it's actually okay, but not okay. But I can't hug them, can't kiss them. So mm. that's the bummer part, but... Yeah, but um, yeah. Well, I just need them to be safe, though. I want them there, and they're yeah. they're working. Kayla is working in New York, and Devin is schooling. So just be safe and continue to live life. Your second daughter is Kayla. <laughs> Kayla, yes. My second daughter is Kayla. Oh really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. My <laughs> second daughter is Kayla. <laughs> oh Which is my gosh. K A E L A. Oh, mine is K A Y L A, yeah. and she is Pronounce very the same strong way. will. Yeah, tell is me about it. She has strong will. Yeah, very stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> so we bang um, a lot together strong, because I'm also strong will. Strong will. Strong yeah. Will. yeah. Oh gosh, she bang a lot with the father though. Ah, because okay. They are both about the same. Yeah, they, they butt heads. <laughs> mm. So she butt heads with me. She's really close to her dad. <laughs> well so, they're very close but they're just they're just too similar I think mm. <laughs> so can you tell yes. us more about the, the products that you like from Fito like why did you like well, them I, I like this um, the Fito okay. Pauline Oop. yeah the Kito Pauline the elixir this is um, it, it, it's really you so you put this on before you shampoo and um, it, it, it's like, it has that uh, nice feeling. You know, it's good. You know, it's actually very good. You, you feel it, you know, that it's actually um, actually working because um, I've had used this for about a year and a half now. Mm. And I see that I was, I was actually losing hair. I was losing hair and I was dropping. And I think now I have this, uh, my hair is fuller. And um, so this actually, it really works. It really works. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Pito yeah, Pauline so, um, Elixir is a product you use before you shampoo. And yes. it helps to even promote blood circulation, mm. makes it less oily, cleans the scalp inside and the surface. And it really helps to boost the energy of the scalp as well. So it has been around for 50 years. The formula never changed. 100% natural no alcohol in it, no water. One small bottle, I mean, that bottle you have is uh, 70 kg of plants to make a, that 100 ml bottle. Yeah, so it's very amazing yep. product. It is, it is amazing. It is amazing. And I like, I like the fragrance too. And then, um, yeah, and then you put it on about, what, 20 minutes, I think I do. And then I use yeah. shampoo. And then I use the shampoo, the Apaisan shampoo. 
Ah, yes, this I is think. um for this soothing, is, uh, for soothing of yes, the scalp. It, yeah, so because my scalp was kind of red and all that, so your the the lady that helped me gave me this, and she says, mm. and it's really nice. It's oh, I love the fragrance to it. It's really yes. nice. It's, so, it's very natural, I, nothing fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just great. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It is. It is. Um. Well, it doesn't foam up so much because it is so natural. You know, it doesn't yeah. like you know it's like, like all those shampoo like no SLS yeah, in like, it. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. So you can actually tell that it's a good thing. So I'm really happy. I'm really happy. Great. So, um, Yanti, you've got a lot of fans out there. That I think some of them have joined the show. Like, there's a lady called Susanti, and she um likes the, you know, she likes Tito. Yeah. <laughs> so, she's someone who uses the products. Okay. Mm. So, um, we want to give away the products. We always like to give away all the products that our guests like. So, we are mm-hmm. going to give away two products today that Yanti loves. One is the Phytopoline uh, Botanical Scalp Treatment, worth 55 And the other product we're going to give away is her favorite shampoo, which you can use daily. It helps <laughs> you soothe your scalp. Yeah. So we're going to give that away today. And it's very easy to win it. All you're going to do is just like this video right now, share it with your friends on social media. And you can also tag as many friends as you can. And you stand a chance to win this product. So we'll pick two winners uh, by the end of t- tonight. Yanti will announce the winners. In an hour's time. Uh, Yeah, so simple. And we're going to give it away. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, but I'm not the only one giving away products today. Later on, you'll see Yanti is also giving away products from from her fantastic keto uh, bakery and cafe. (laughs) Talk about that. I mean, we're all very curious and we're all here to really find out more about what's this sugar-free diet of yours and is it even possible? So maybe you could share a little bit of what is keto or what is a sugar-free diet uh keto is very loosely used nowadays when people yeah. say i'm on keto so they think okay they're actually on an anti-sugar basically um, because when you do a real keto you are talking about really on a very strict diet lifestyle right. that you want that you want to do a five percent uh carbs only that's about 20 grams and then 75% fat and 20 grams of protein, which is, I mean, 20% of protein, which is actually not much. So when people say, oh, I'm on keto, I think a lot of people are on low carb instead of being on keto. (laughs) So yeah, it's really used very, very loosely. So I get what you mean. I think this when I I found out about keto, you have to use this thing, uh, you're going to buy some kind of... um, Something to pee on to the strips, yeah. To check whether you're in the ketosis mode or something like that. Ketosis. It sounds so yes. much. It's quite a hassle. It's actually if you want to do a strict one, it's not a hassle. It's a commitment that you want to do. Mm. You know, anything yeah. in life is a commitment. Okay, That's true. <laughs> I think anything, <laughs> anything. You know, one. I mean, you're doing phyto, but I mean, like, I'm sure that it's a commitment to you. You believe yeah. in the product, so you want to do commitment. it. Commitment. <laughs> Exactly. So, so anything you want to do, if, like I said, you know, even if you want to do a new shampoo, you have to be committed that you want you are going to stick to that shampoo, and yeah, for it to be true. able to work, you can't change every two weeks. You know, every bottle yeah. that you you know, some people just change bottles of shampoo. Yeah, they the don't see the effect. They won't see the results. You need to stick to something at least exactly. for the next six months. So you can see yes. the results. Yes. So I guess it's the same it's for a, diets. Yeah. It's the, yeah, it's the same thing for diets also. It's a commitment. So for me, keto, when people say keto, I say, are you really on keto? Because that's when that, that, that's what it matters. But okay, let's just talk about it being easy, okay? Yeah. So, um, so basically, a lot of people are actually on low carb and, or anti-sugar. So mm. that, that is easier. <laughs> I think so, so too. Yes, just just as long as you just go very very low on your carbs, I think you're already healthier. So what we do in um, our store is uh, provide a no sugar alternative of what's out there. So that when you want to adopt the lifestyle keto or low carb, it's easier for you. Ah, 
Okay. So I know when you were young, when you were younger, you're still not old, but younger, <laughs> and you, you, you shared with me that you were struggling with your weight and your body oh image for a long time. And you, you told me yes. you've never been skinny. And that honestly um, connected with me because I've never been skinny in my whole life. I've never been super slim either. I've always been a bit, in Chinese here yes. we call ba ba, very fleshy. Yes. <laughs> I'm yes. always a bit yes. pudgy. <laughs> It's just how chubby too. I am now. <laughs> I'm never skinny. Oh my god! So when you say that, oh my god, I totally understand what you mean. Um, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So yeah, there you can see the my picture on the left. I mean, right, the one with them. Well, I, I took I purposely took I, I I took that picture purposely because I was taking a picture with my friend, the same friend, and you can see the difference. You know. That's Got like it. The, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. You can see the difference. It, 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 I am very good. I'm so good in losing weight. I'm very good at that. I know how to lose weight, but I do okay. not know how to maintain it. <laughs> yeah, I think we have the same problem. I've been like, I can go like this, and then it's, I just go back up again. Yeah. It's a yo-yo diet. So I go like you know I I got slim so, so sexy slim, no? so... the picture oh my god <laughs> look at that Ooh. yeah so but then I got I got fat again I got slim again I got fat again I got you know go up and down so easy it's it's just you know it's just crazy and then I would buy a, a dress and I thought I'm gonna wear this dress you know the next two months is the party by the time the party comes I can't fit in it oh. you know so I know it happened. I, yeah, it's, it's quite stressful because I think there were one or two two parties I didn't go because my dress doesn't really fit. So that's I my life story. Feel. If they give me yeah. a theme that is too difficult and the dress I was supposed to wear can't fit, I really don't feel like going anymore. <laughs> yeah, right? I feel comfortable yeah, in myself. Then, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not about self-esteem. It's not about, but it's not you know like 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 you know you have a dress and you, you you can't fit and that is supposed to be the dress that you have to wear yeah exactly you know? it's a theme to wear a, a color you're supposed to wear and then it what and, like, oh. and then and then yeah exactly and then and then what you know so it's been my struggle i think i've never been slim but then i know how to be skinny and then i would blow it up again so okay. it's, it's a struggle it's been like that all years <laughs> so you told me that you tried different kinds of fat diets could you share a bit us a few of the names and what are they about oh my and, god I did and how did they so, work or not work for you so i did i did the uh, weight watchers have you heard okay. of weight watchers yeah weight so watchers they is the you whole this. diet you buy the food and you eat it's it it's the right? whole diet yeah 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 they give you very give good you uh, marketing and business strategy oh very say. good very good um, <laughs> let's see do you you remember marie and donny osman yeah 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 yeah, I mean, I, I know of you, them. You, you know, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know. So I think, I, I think Marie Osman was one of their, um, their, 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 what do you call it? Ambassadors? The, yes, the ambassadors too. Because yeah, she was overweight once and then she tried that. And yeah, so a lot of people was doing uh, Weight Watchers. I tried that, so I buy the package. So you basically eat dry food. Well, not dry food, right? They give you dry food, food and you put know, it in the microwave. It food. Yeah, it, it's really very, okay. not very, very, yeah. So I managed to lose five kilos. I'm, I'm a very committed person. So once I said, okay, I'll do it. I commit myself. I will do it. I lose it. I would lose five, six, five kilos, six kilos, but it's not sustainable. It, and then I would, then I also did the, um, I also did the um, metabolic uh, that, that 500 calories diet oh my god 500 calories a day yes a day i almost oh, kill I everybody imagine. around me <laughs> i'll be so grouchy friend, and nasty if my friend's listening <laughs> saying sorry she to them actually, she actually begged me i said can you please please not do this anymore can you please you're killing every one of us <laughs> Hmm. Maybe that's a good reason to tell my husband why I cannot go on a diet because I'll become even 
more temperamental, so maybe I shouldn't be in a diet. <laughs> it's really, it was really, it was really crazy. Yeah, isn't then, it worse? It I mean, for like people like us who were never skinny, like after we had kids and we had three, oh my god, I, I, I balloon, you know. Yes. And uh, I don't know. I don't know how these women do it. They put on like I put on only five kg. I put on only ten kg. I put on like what twenty five kg. Me too. Oh my god! Every single oh kid. Every single one, every single one. And you know what's the worst? If you go to the doctor in Singapore, they only give you seven kilos. All yeah. right, you're only allowed to do like I'm seven. Like, I maximum was really dead eleven. Midway. Seven, seven. So every time I go to the doctor, he gave me a good scolding. He says it's not healthy oh my for my heart. It's not healthy for my kids. And And oh my god, it's so stressful oh, true, to do my. It was stressful. My like I had high up. blood pressure when I was pregnant, and I had it with my third one. I didn't have it, yeah. So I had my third one. So oh my god. I had I had that stressful. um what do you call that uh, uh digestional what diabetic when I was yeah pregnant. yeah I had it too. Uh, yeah. So just yeah yeah when you're pregnant you're, digest, you get it, yeah, but hopefully yeah, you you like, will stop having it after you get birth. But. But actually, um, I think there's like what twenty percent of people who has that case, they are actually became a diabetic. That's themselves. right. That's right. So it's a yeah, risk yeah. as well. That it's you a, can it's a risk diabetic. for us. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So well, I'm much wood. I'm not. But now I'm yeah, actually on very very low sugar. So I'm actually not there. <laughs> but yeah, that was scary though. Yeah, and then yeah. Uh, what else? What else did I do? A lot, a lot. Do you do the um, Atkins diet? Atkins, Atkins, Atkins diet. Is not so bad. Atkins is actually um, is actually Atkins is the evol keto is the evolutions of Atkins. True, true. Yeah, so it's it's not it's it's actually still okay. The other one I did, oh, I even actually did confession here. I did I did a small liposuction because I couldn't get wow. my eyes small enough. <laughs> I mean that's really going all that. out, right? Like I try all the diets, I do whatever I need to do. I even yeah. go under the you knife just everything. to do and everything. Finally, I thought, yeah, exactly, exactly. I think if 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 there is a way that you can just, you know, go under the sun and sizzle my fat like the way a uh, bacon yeah. would be, I would do it. <laughs> yeah, if somebody wants to just take it off of me, I'm also fine. Like I will donate to you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so I can so imagine that like you've done everything, everything you can, but nothing worked. Nothing worked. Nothing. So finally, what made you decide like, okay, I'm going to do this keto thing and not because it's a fad, but because it's something that you really want to have a life change and something that you've been, Again, I don't know. But how did it so, happen? So whatever, so, what, so every, um, every year, I would actually try to lose the weight because I would like to go to summer holidays and look good. I, I mean, yeah. my girls are... I, I think they're very, they're very, they 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 look good. So I want to make sure that when I take pictures with them, I look as stunning as them. <laughs> I don't want to look like do a, look stunning, a nanny. <laughs> I don't want to look like uh, you know, like blimp between them. So <laughs> yeah, beautiful so daughters, just, a beautiful really family. Look, I'm I'm in com, I'm in competition with them. <laughs> <laughs> Summers, <laughs> so I want to make oh. sure that I can I take a good picture and then 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 after that I would just gain it all back. Oh, whatever hard work I had worked for, take that that nice picture, then I'll gain it all back. It's so sad. <laughs> It's very demoralizing, right? <laughs> yes, yes. So every year that's what I did, and um, I think I think and then I I keep trying. I didn't give up, so I. I try again. So and then I look into another, and then I heard of keto. I and then I start um, looking into it deeper, mm -hmm. and then I actually uh, start to think I want to do it. So I actually started to just give up the sugar first before I jump into the fat because it is pretty scary. Seventy five percent of your meal is fat. And when yeah. all this while you were told not to eat fat, that's right. It's totally right? against what I'm taught Every, in school and by everyone. Everywhere, exactly. So I didn't jump into the fat like right away. So it took me about about the whole Lent season, forty <laughs> days. I cut down all the sugars, but I was doing it for the better good. So 
forgot. So I actually did manage to one. go That's through that. That's a really that. good one because you're so yeah, I started and also very pious. And at the same time, you use this opportunity to make a commitment to yourself, but also during Lent. Yeah. So there's a good time to, yeah, yep. <laughs> you promise how, something to God. I... So you have to do it. Yeah. Yeah, I promise that I'll give up sugar. So, but while doing that, I was reading a lot. Also, and actually, it was easier, you know. Like, 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 my father would open a good bottle of wine. He said, "You don't want to try not a sip." I said, "No, it's Lent, you know." And so he would he would drop it, you know. Oh, but yeah. if it's not Lent, right? It's, I mean, if it's not yeah, they keep pushing Lent, you, right? They keep yeah, pushing. No, it's glass. nice. It's nice. Yeah, one just 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 a little bit, you know. Yeah, try this new cake. Yeah, try so this ice cream. Try this. It's nice. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So I gave it up for Lent, and nobody can actually force me. And I true, got true, true. I got used to not having that sugar. It's the higher power, then, how can we defy then... him? You know. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Mm. Very yeah, smart. So that's how I started. That's how I started, and then I keep reading. So the more I read, the more I understand that sugar is really, really bad for you. It causes yeah. a lot of inflammation in your body. Yeah, and mm. so because that that that's when I I I get scared, you know, and then. Then I go into the keto, really strict keto. And that's when I understand more. And then then that's when I also realize every time people ask me to go for coffee, let's have a coffee break. Okay. Everybody's eating something. I can't eat anything. Yeah. That sucks, right? Right. Then yeah, those sweet so- toes, you feel deprived. I think the worst thing about diets is that you start to feel deprived. And it yeah. wouldn't work anymore. Because no. then you feel deprived of something, you will sneak out and eat it. Or something like that, which I think is oh my so, god, I did. Yeah, it that. defeats the purpose, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm guilty of it. Like, I want to be on this diet, but after a while, I'm like, oh, I'm really craving for this. And then you go out, out, and you eat a lot of it. So it's not really yeah. good. Yeah, in that sense. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where, that's where I start making my own um, desserts at home and start sharing them. And that how the, long uh, ago was course, this you started this keto diet or this lifestyle uh, uh about three and a half years now three and a half years ago okay yeah about three and a half years i started and then i start baking and all that and then i start sharing what i have with friends and it's like ooh, it's actually okay so yeah and then this this yes. was uh gave birth to yes. this uh yeah next yes. baby which is yes. a beautiful place seriously keto oh my god i love it look at this look at what i have so cute, right? Like a little handbag. You know, that matches. So cute. For me to put the cakes inside and that's what, you know, I have here. Seriously, keto cakes. I can put in this cute bag. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's one thing to um, start a diet, to commit to one, to change my life around it. It's another thing to start a business around it, you know, it's, yeah, it's a, a different level of commitment, you know, Yanti. <laughs> it, it's sharing. Sharing is caring. It's sharing ah, loving. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's what that's it true. is. So true. I started to share. I was I started to tell people like, okay, you know what? You maybe want to try this instead of, yeah. So instead of eliminating it from totally from your diet, I would actually replace them. That's how I actually see this um, lifestyle to be sustainable. For those of you, I think there's some questions for you. Like, I want to learn more of this keto diet. I mean, you can Google it. But what's great is about, you know, she's so committed. She even had a whole cookbook done up like this, so beautifully done. Um, <laughs> I can't turn to the right page. See? If, ingredients and everything so it makes it really easy for you to have savory and sweet and sweets and many dishes um snacks breakfast lunch dinner even cocktails even cocktails and sauces and dips because you know yanti likes to host parties (laughs) (laughs) yes i do and and like you know a put pork burger then i'm sure you are very curious right How, how come keto eat burger cannot right because burger is bread and burger is carbs. But yet Yanti invented this fantastic keto bun. I have it here. This really cute, fluffy, so soft, you see? 
I eat it many times. Huh? It's so soft. It's so soft. Um, and very, it tastes like bread. I, I, I cannot even tell me, it's, I wouldn't even know that it's made differently. Uh, my kids love it. I love it. And this keto bun, of course, you can then eat it with her special stuff with it, you know. <laughs> oh, someone there said, uh, seriously, keto got yummy cupcakes. Yeah. <laughs> you know their stuff, yeah. Ta-da. So I guess for people who want to go on a keto diet or a sugar-free diet, at least, a simple step, just go on a sugar-free diet to have a healthier life. Like you said, it's really hard because you have all these cravings or you have parties, you've got birthdays, you've got things like that. You can't eat the cakes, you can't eat that. After a while, I feel so left out, right? So that's how you started baking. Yes. And from yes. there, it became so popular that now you have this beautiful bakery and cafe where people can buy all these wonderful creations of yours. <laughs> yeah so like like i said again you know if you try to eliminate them then you do have the craving then you actually fall out the wagon so i try to replace them for everyone so that's where we come in so that is a pretzel <laughs> steak but not made of any there's no carbs in it is it very very low carbs very, very low, low carbs. carbs there's no there's yeah it's almond flour that's mm. the base of our product Mm. One of my favorite stuff from Yanti, I must say, I, I, know, I found it so amazing, is this product. It looks like a pate oh. because it is a pate, but it's a mushroom pate. So it's also safe for vegetarians, right? Yes. Um, vegetarians, yes. Because mm. it, has, it still has dairy in it. Oh, not vegan, but vegetarian. Not vegan, yes. Vegetarian. Mm. But this mushroom pate is so good. My husband loves it as well. It's fantastic. It's of such a good quality. So I, I, I could buy it and give to my vegetarian relatives. You know? And it's versatile. I make things quite versatile. So like that mushroom pate, for instance, you could just put chicken stock on it and it become a mushroom soup. And then I would actually use that. How much do I use? A... How much do I use oh. to make a mushroom soup? All of it? Half of it? Uh, half of it for about two cups. Very concentrated, yeah. huh? This is very concentrated yes, anyway. Is. So yeah, it makes sense. It I can I can it mix is. it up with cream or milk, right? Yes. Um. Yes, but you can actually just do it with the chicken broth. Okay. And then it become it become a mushroom soup, and also I also use that as a sauce, a steak sauce. Oh yeah, like a mushroom steak sauce. Yes. Yes. Yes, that can be your base to be a mushroom, your mushroom steak sauce. So mm. it's quite versatile. I actually, um, and then I actually have this recipe that I use that as uh, as the, the sauce for my beef wellington. Is it in here? Uh, no. Second. <laughs> no, it's in the uh, in our Instagram, Insta TV, ah. IGTV, IGTV. So what's the what's yeah. the link or what's the is it uh, seriously keto IG? Seriously Keto SG. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the Instagram. We put the yeah. link up. We put the link up on the our Facebook live so that they can just click onto it and find it. So where's the I'm, location I'm of your cafe? Oh. Uh it's at 32 Sia Street. Very convenient. It's behind Next to Raffles Hotel. Very Raffles Hotel. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm actually very excited for you to try the the tea. Okay. The tea, the yes, tea. yes. 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 That the one. Tea. The so tea. this is a milk tea. I added some ice, so it's cooler. Yes. So it's a um, yes. seriously keto um, milk tea, ice milk tea. Actually, I've had it before many times. When I go to the national library, my kids, I'll say, "Okay, guys, we need to walk over for get get some drinks." So I will bypass all the cafes. I'll go straight to yours. So we can all have our milk tea and our cupcakes and don't feel sinful, don't feel guilty at all. Yeah. Mm. That that milk tea, that milk tea, I wanna I Very mean like good. the Thai milk tea, they're always so sweet. And I mm-hmm. think for the longest longest time I've not had any Thai milk tea because I was very it afraid of it. It tastes sweet. How so is it possible? It is sweet. We yeah. use the erythritol as our sugar substitute. It's a very good that? sugar. Okay. It's a uh, it's a plant based sugar. Okay. It doesn't get processed in your 
outside your body. So it just go to your blood and go out. So it doesn't spike your insulin. So it's very good so for the diabetics. So diabetics can have this also. Very good for the diabetics. And that whole the, that whole thing, if you finished it, is only three grams of carbs in there. Oh, wow. So all the yeah. night ta lovers, all your pao pao ta lovers, this is great. Because there's a bit yeah, of a, a chewy jelly inside. Yes, it's a substitute mm. for boba tea. Yeah. So it's really nice and... I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna film. My daughter was eyeing this drink in my fridge. I'm like, no, no, this is mine. She loves milk tea, oh. right? But it's, I mean, they're young, so they get away with taking a lot of sugar. But once it becomes a habit, oh, yes. as an adult, after kids, it's so hard to break because you need the sugar craving. So I get it. It's very hard. Yeah, it's, it's really, very really hard. hard. But I love this drink, and I and I feel so, like uh, uh, having it I would help me a lot. Like, so you know, the, not put on more sugar, weight. The sugar that we use here, the Eritritol, it doesn't give you the craving. So oh. if you have a craving for sugar, then you just have it. So you get your fix. Mm. And you wouldn't go for more. You wouldn't ask for more. You know, I, I was addicted to diet soda. I was addicted to diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> it was so, so difficult to break it. It was because the more I drink it, the more I want it, the more I drink, the more I want. I had I had yeah. a really bad addiction. My husband to it. eats ice cream every day. I've never had ice cream in my house until he came. Every day we have ice cream. He 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 can metabolize it well. I can't, so I put it all on. You know, um, but when you have all this stuff in your fridge, it's difficult. Yeah, he eats my ice cream every day, and you're like, okay, I have too. some. <laughs> day. No, I'll give. I'll make you an ice cream. <laughs> you have ice cream with this so that I wouldn't, I can fix this craving, maybe fix his craving as well. Yeah, I have ice creams. I have friends who actually sell ice creams too, the keto ice cream. Oh, yeah. Okay, then yes. I want to get yes, that. Yes. Maybe that could yeah. be the in the house instead of the ones outside. Though they're very nice to eat, but he eats it every day. And then the whole family will follow, right? The kids will all follow because it's nice. Right, so maybe yeah. we we'll give them a, a healthier option, so they can still enjoy something sweet and creamy and cold after dinner, but yeah. not have the bad effects of sugar. Yeah, I think that's very yeah. wise, a wise thing to do. Very, yeah. very wise, mom. Mm, very, I, think I I'll, agree. I'll get the contact from you <laughs> and I'll do that. Yeah, okay. so you guys can always visit Seriously Keto to try any of these foods. But let's talk more about what you have because you created all these recipes yourself. Yes, I did. Even the kaya? You see they have kaya? It's, yes. And it's creamy. Yes. I'm going to have it. Okay, you guys going to watch me eat it. <laughs> <laughs> drool, drool. Yeah, see? So this is the kaya. Very creamy, very thick. You see? <laughs> wow. The coconut taste is very nice. Pandan flavor. It's just it's really nice. It's like... um. Kaya pudding, but a lighter version so I can spread. I can spread on like the bun. I can spread a bit on my cracker. Very good. It's very, mm, very nice. Is it the same sugar? Same sugar. They're all the mm. same sugar. I, I be, there's a few sugars that, that is safe to be safe for a, uh, for a low carbs uh, or diet, but some of the sugars are not as safe as this. So this is one of the safest ones. So you do need to read labels. Yeah. You do need to read what you are putting into yourself. There's no preservatives as well in your product. No preservatives in none. We don't have preservatives in any of our products. They are very mm. homemade. Which is why you, you pack it very small so you finish it very fast as well, which is, which is very wise. Yes. yes. And the all recyclable packaging, which I really appreciate. It's very aligned to even yes. keto. We use all recyclable packaging. It's very important to us, you we, know, environment. We try. We just show and, our audience um, kaya, the we, calories, the carbs. We have a slide. We prepare the usual kaya. If you eat it, which we all love our kaya toast, right? And our eggs. But if you eat the ordinary kaya, the carbs are very high per serving. Um, it's eight or more, depending on how much you use. But for theirs, how much is... 
Kito. This is called the Kaya Kryptonite. <laughs> How much carbs is that? Can we show? It's only one grams. That's like so much lesser. Seven times, uh, eight times lesser. So I can eat eight, eight of this equivalent to one serving of the outside kaya. And if I eat it with the bread from outside, I can probably eat 10 of these buns with the kaya. Make up for one set of the kaya toast outside. So that's quite good value for money in a sense. I can have more for less. And how about the milk tea that I just had? Outside the Thai milk tea, I'm sure the calories is quite high because it's always very sweet. Wow, 38 grams. And for seriously keto, uh, milk tea, it's only one gram. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's because uh, we use uh, everything. There is um, the, the only grams of carbs in there is because of the cream of the coconut because oh, sorry this one uses cream of the cream so the the, mm. the carbs from the cream but there's no sugar in it there's uh and the jelly is a cognac cognac jelly Cognac's so there's a protein, a fiber. Right? it has no yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's a protein and fiber so it has no carbs either so everything inside there there's nothing that can is you guys high believe it guys you, trust me go to seriously keto it's just yeah street just opposite raffles hotel Go and got only store. Yeah, Annette, Annette is asking where to buy this guy. Yeah? Go to her store, Seriously Keto, at Sia Street, opposite, just next to Raffles Hotel, a beautiful cafe. And you will see it is very bright, it's yellow, and it's very pretty. Uh, do you have an online store? I think they have an online store, right, Yanti? Yes, yes, yes. Can we share the link? Yeah, the link is there. Seriously, yeah, that's a, <laughs> there's a, the website is there. And you can go get uh, the drink. I think it's better you buy from there. La. Raffles City, uh, City Hall MRT Station or Brass Bassa is really walking distance. And you can get it nice and cold at their cafe, uh, the milk tea. Or you can ask them to deliver you can actually to you. deliver. Yeah, hmm. we deliver too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, correct. You deliver it as well. Yeah, correct. You can deliver the milk yeah. tea. There's a coffee version. There's a milk tea version. It's really nice. And those of you who love sambal and chili sauce, she also created uh, sugar-free, low-carb chili sauce. So for me, I eat chili every day with my meals as much as I can, whether it's sweet chili sauce or sambal chili sauce. So I always find it very difficult to change because I, I need my chili sauce, you know, uh, my terasi and things like that. So I find it really hard. But then when I tried hers, it's really nice to go with my rice or go with my food or anything that I want. I have a replacement than the one in the market, which is always filled with lots of sugar and salt, you know. So it's also a great option for savory food. Yeah, and Sheila MSG. Tan was saying the sambal is also very good. And also MSG, I think the one out there. Yeah, lots of MSG, <laughs> yeah, the MSG a lot of chemicals, preservatives. preservatives. Yeah. It tastes good for a reason, right? So, so it's a very hard habit to break. So I was so happy when I discovered that she created a lot of things that I love and I like. <laughs> so thank you. Replace, 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 <laughs> replace, replace, replace. Remember? Yeah, replace, <laughs> replace, replace. Correct. So, so yeah, what I else do we have? Then we have cakes and everything. See, I've got some cakes here. They look really lovely. They look like rich chocolate cakes and like a New York cheesecake. And are they uh sugar free? Yes. They are all sugar free. There's no added sugar in there. So I'm gonna try uh, it. I use erythritol again, which is a good sugar for us. See, guys, don't be jealous, okay? <laughs> must have the We're right just friends. watching you eat. I know, right? <laughs> what a life, what a life. <laughs> mm. Very nice. I'll keep it for my son. We're trying to try chocolate cake now. Okay, I'm very excited to try it. I haven't tried all her cakes. I tried all her mini cupcakes. This is nice. This is chocolate cake. Look at that. Rich, soft. Mmm. It's not too sweet, but it's a, definitely a chocolate cake. 
taste, very like a bitter chocolate, very good quality chocolate. Yes. We use ninety percent lint chocolate. Yeah. Mm, they use really good quality chocolate, guys. Not those cheapo cheapo type one. Huh? You can taste the difference. We taste it. It has a bitter sweet taste. It's very good quality chocolate. So basically, we actually cake. believe <laughs> we believe in good putting putting everything good becomes better, right? Hmm. Oh, they asked, is the sambal spicy? One of the audience, Kelvin, is asking, is your sambal spicy? I mean, I can take spice very well. I don't find it spicy, but it's good enough. It gives me a nice kick. If it's mm. not good enough, Kelvin, maybe you can add some cut chili. La. Add extra cut chili. <laughs> chili, uh, no cups, right? <laughs> a little bit, but it's fine. It's, it's fine. fine, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's cut fine. chili, fresh yeah. cut chili. Yeah. Fresh, not chili sauce, fresh ah. chili is the best, yeah. Mm. Uh, so Kelvin, you can go to their, their Seriously Keto website to buy or you can also uh, get it from their store itself. Uh, they ask, is there any minimum purchase in your online store? They're very interested to buy now. <laughs> is there a minimum purchase mm. they're asking? Mm. Mm. Yeah, so okay, uh, you guys, we're going to do giveaway for Keto, Seriously Keto as well. So um, let's show what we what our audience tend to win. And you guys get two of you who get to walk home with seriously keto bundle, which is you get the things here, right? The cheesecake, the pretzels, you get the keto bun, which is very nice and soft. You get the fantastic kaya. And you get the milk tea. Not the half drunk one, but the full one. <laughs> <laughs> and is it the hoisin sauce that you're giving, or is it giving the Nutella sauce or the hazelnut spread? Uh, what is it? What see. is it? I can't it's see. It's the it. hoisin sauce. I think it's the hoisin sauce. Is it the hoisin sauce? sauce? Yeah. Yeah. So, it's so yeah, cooking. I, 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 I <sighs> it's for cook. It's for cooking, for marinating, for dipping, for spreading, for whatever you want to do. I actually eat it with everything and I actually make a pizza base out of it also. And mm. it's for my duck when I eat my duck. Right? Very nice. The hoistiness. Yep. <laughs> so very good guy. So my my really idea good. of trying to my idea of trying to stick to a to a lifestyle of this lifestyle is to make sure that you have all all the all the proper ingredients that has no sugar in your in your kitchen so you can whip up anything anytime without the chance to fall out of it so don't don't have a don't have a chili sauce that has a lot of sugar so you for sure when you cook you wouldn't grab it you know so that's how i see it so all your ingredients are all keto or low carb or low sugar i mean then you'll be fine and you'll be safe Mm. I just find it so difficult, right? Like, how do I replace my favorite pranakan dishes with being keto? I, I mean, being sugar-free. They have lots of spices. They put sugar in it. It's sweet. It's sour. It's, it's the sugar. The sugar. Flavorful. Just replace the sugar. Just replace the sugar because everything, everything in the prana and um, uh, what are, what are we talking about? Like uh, sambal asam, for instance. Yeah, like a yeah asam like, dish. Yeah. Like, Yes, an asam dish. So the asam itself is fine. Look for a tamarind that it has no sugar added, and then the uh, the chili, of course, not you know chili is fine. Don't use too much of a um, onions because onions are a little bit high in carbs. Oh my the god, I love onions. onions. I know onions, the the the, the big onions. So oh, just not 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 too much of that. Yeah, I know. So, love onions and, and then, garlic at home. <laughs> and all the other spices are actually quite carb free. And coconut milk is very keto friendly. So you can always use that. And just replace the sugar and you will get the same taste. Okay. And you'll get the same satisfaction. Hmm. Yeah. And and you eat it with cauliflower rice. Yeah, that's true. I've tried cauliflower rice. I quite like it. I quite like it. Yeah. Mm. 
So can we show what are great things you guys have? You have the wheat bun, and normally the wheat bun, what is the calories for a normal bun in the market? I think it's That's quite high. Wheat. We don't, we don't, we don't do wheat bun. That is. I mean, the outside wheat bun. bun is thirty-eight grams per cup. Oh, but okay. Your keto bun. Yes. It's keto bun grams. is only ten grams. That's total carbs. Oh, but total it's carbs. Three grams. Yeah, it's, oh, it's one uh, bun is three grams. To, one bun is three grams of carb. Mm. We need the, that's because we have to minus the fiber in it. There's a lot of fiber in there, so it's actually three grams. Mm, okay. And we also have cupcakes. We sell cupcakes. And outside there, we love all our cupcakes. And one small cupcakes out there is 23, carb, 23 grams of carbs. And for Seriously Keto, we have, a, we have a wide variety of cupcakes to choose from. And what is the cups? Only two grams, guys. Only two grams. So I think one of you are asking, how about the cheesecake? They're asking how many cups, how much cups for the cheesecake? Roughly, if you remember, Yanti. Uh, not off my head, but it would not go beyond six grams. Well, wow. so like five or six grams, Kelvin, you're asking about the cheesecake. Yes. You obviously want to buy it, really. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, there, I, think, I think someone from the Seriously Keto had actually put it up earlier. Okay. The answer to that. It should be mm. about, we don't have, uh, we, we try not to go beyond six grams of of, of, of carbs for our desserts and that is that is also the reason why our desserts are slightly smaller than the regular if you go to buy a cupcake it's bigger than our cupcake because true, yes, that's what is true like but this yeah like that size normal it's, a normal size it, it looks normal but it's actually it's slightly smaller than a regular slice okay cake. sure sure slightly true. we 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 because i i want to maintain the the part the portion control so that you're not gonna eat too much well it will be good if you only eat half of it but who has the willpower yeah that, <laughs> i honestly think the size is good enough like i feel satisfied and not like so gelat or something like eat too much of it too much of a good thing is also a bit you know but this is good enough for like one person to finish and feel good about it so you guys are very lucky two of you will walk home with the bundle uh we'll tell you who the winner is yeah at the end of the show Mm. So I just want to tell you how generous she is for not just giving away these two bundles to our audience today, but also how she is and what a strong advocate Yanti is for even diabetes, you know, people who are suffering from diabetes in Singapore. She would dedicate a lot of her time to work with the clients to, you know, when you come and buy from Seriously Keto, certain proceeds will be given to uh the charity organization Diabetes Singapore. Yeah, she's also helped with the um, Queen Special Needs Support Center, and they are a center that supports children with special needs. So, could you share us a little bit more about, you know, why these organizations and what have you done for them? Um, for the uh, Diabetic Society, I think I think diabetic is a problem. It. A major problem and uh, Singapore is actually being very aware of it if they don't take care of of of, of this um, situation <laughs> they're gonna be having a lot of uh, issues in the later age I think and so um, we 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 support them because we know our product is good for them and I believe in them and we tested it and it's it's it, 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 it's saving lives, you know, because I think if you eat sugar, I always say that um, it tastes good two seconds in your tongue, but but the um, but uh, what do you call that? But you you are sick a lot of times, you know, like like well, okay, I didn't say it correctly. I'm so sorry. Oh, but you think um, what you trying to say is you will suffer good, the good exactly. You will suffer longer, but it's only. You only, it tastes good for two seconds in your tongue, but then you'll suffer after that. Yeah, maybe for a lifetime even, just for the few yes. seconds of pleasure, you suffer yes. for the rest of your life. And I guess we don't think yes. about it, especially when we're younger, we don't think about it because it doesn't seem to affect us. But now that I've really um, reached my 40s, I am really starting to feel very concerned about the lifestyle I've always been having and my indulgence in whatever I feel like eating. So I need yeah. to find a way yeah. to also indulge 
like with all these yummy stuff, but yet not let it affect my health. Yes, you know? and especially for the diabetic. Because for them, it's poison. These sugars mm. are poison and they are very addictive. And, 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 and once you have it, you have the craving and you need it and you need it again. You know, those, that's, that's what's happening to them. And mm. so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm interested in, 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 in assisting. That's what you're passionate and, about. Um, you want the whole world to know because, about this. Yeah, yes, and because, then... because I see some diabetic, I, I know some diabetic people that actually are very, um, uh, are sick. I, I mean, you, it, it, it's very, very sad because your whole system just go crazy because of sugar. And it's a very sad, sad situation. Yeah. So. You'll, and it's not reversible. First thing, first thing you lose your eyesight and then you lose a toe, you lose, you know, there's, you know, it's heartbreaking to see them. And I have friends who has diabetic and I, I, I see that I could help them. And so I think to give back, we should help these uh, diabetic. Yeah. And I'm, and I guess I'm here to, to, to make a difference. Right. And I think why yeah. I invite you to this program, because I feel like with this, we could share this to more people. So they know that they have options. Sometimes we don't know any better because we didn't know we had other options like, Oh, I really want to eat my kaya. What can I do? All the kayas are like this. Right. But no, then now exactly. there are other kayas out there, which, Yes. Tastes good, it's still creamy, it's still very lemak, but it's not going to give you the problems that sugar would give you. You can still yes. have your chocolate yes. cake, your cheesecake, your milk tea, and it's not going to hurt you in the future. So I think that's very important for them to also know that. Yeah. Yes. And I so realized that other than being a busy mom and a busy baker and entrepreneur, you also were very busy when you travel taking photos. <laughs> <laughs> Gandhi is fabulous. She's, she has a hobby, oh she calls God. it. Okay, she calls it a hobby. Why I go like that is because this hobby of hers can let her have exhibition, you know. She cares. She had an exhibition. <laughs> Please show the pictures of her exhibition. Look at that. This is these are all her oh. wonderful uh, exhibition on fire hydrants from around the world or wherever she was. She took all these beautiful pictures and she exhibited it. And it was a beautiful um, exhibition. And you sold these photos. It was sold. It was um. It was a fundraising. Yeah. So this was for the one of the Indonesian uh, foundation that they were. It's to give back to the children. So whatever was sold that day was given to them. <laughs> How amazing is that, right? Like, I mean, she's very blessed. Yanti is very blessed. But at the same time, she also gives back a lot of her blessings in her many ways like through her keto food and the, the cakes and the food as well as all her beautiful photography and she could just kept it to herself but she used this raised funds and gave it to charity so I thought that you know it's really worth mentioning how talented you are in so many different ways <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is the one in Jakarta I hit I also did one here in Singapore I can give you the pictures that was for the uh, mother and child and it was uh, working with the uh, KK Hospital, the Kanang okay. Kabao, the children, the mother and children, the women department. And mm. yeah, whatever proceed, I mean, whatever um, income that I got from there was given to, to that foundation as well. So mm. <laughs> that was here in Singapore. Yeah, I think, I think we raised about 30,000 that time. Wow, in Singapore. In Singapore, yeah. Wow, that's fantastic, you know. <laughs> also the fire hydrant series. It's also the fire hydrant series, yes. <laughs> so yes. creative, right? When you mentioned it, I was like, oh, fire <laughs> hydrants. But now that I see it, I understand how artistic it looks and how interesting it is. I can imagine like, if I have a space, you could have a few of it and it's really interesting. It's very cute because now that um, when my friends actually go to places and when they see a kind of weird fire hydrant they would take a picture of it and send it to me and they're like hey look what i found you know <laughs> your pet 
But you have others like this. You, you're not just a fire hydrant photographer. You have other uh, quirky, <laughs> interesting, fetish. fetish. <laughs> fire hydrant being one of them. And you want to share with them. What is the other oh, interesting... <laughs> I was going after a very nice bald head man. <laughs> So oh, Yanti not goodness. just takes fire hydrants, like a whole series of it whenever she travels. Oh but whenever she sees a bald-headed man, because she's yeah. so fascinated over the different shapes and sizes bald-headed men come it. with. Actually, it does. Go. You know, it is. It's the shape of it. And then there would be a dent. There would be... It's a, a very, very... It's very character... It has its own character, you know, like, and, and, and it has a dan, it has a bump, you know, it's just very different. It's just from the back. It has to be from the back. <laughs> Can we show again her husband's picture? Can we just... No! <laughs> I just want to oh, share, yeah. I, think, I think where the obsession comes from. <laughs> okay. It has to come okay. from somewhere. So I suspect, right. I suspect, la, I suspect it comes from her beloved. Oh so the love kind of gets out there. I love to find more egg-headed men because they're so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> he always claims that he has the most perfect head. That's why God didn't give him hair so that he can show it off. <laughs> so he's not my customer. He's not my customer. <laughs> Oh my god, so thank you so much, Yanti, for being with us. Thank you. I think it's time to announce the four winners. Do you have the names of the four winners? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, we give out the four winners. The first one for the phytopoline yes. botanical treatment, worth $55. Yes. We have Irene Lau. Irene Lau, congratulations. The second and product then... we're giving away is the Phyto, Phyto Episode uh, Soothing Treatment Shampoo. And the winner is... Susanti Warjoyo. Yay! Congrats. Um, the third winner, which is for your Seriously Keto Bundle. Yes. The winner is... Uh, it's to Kim Lai Tai. Kim Lan Tai or Lai Tai, something like yes. that. So... Kim you know Lantai. who you are, yes. Kim Lantai. Yes, congratulations. And the, the second winner for the Seriously Keto Bundle, or the fourth winner for the night is... Sandy Yeo. Congratulations, Sandy. Congratulations, so please drop us Sandra. a direct mail and we tell you how to collect your prizes. Yeah. Congratulations, everyone. <laughs> Congrats, everyone. Thank you guys for being with me. Don't be jealous of my food. Go get it yourself on Seriously Keto. You won't regret it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Yanti, for being with me tonight. Thank you. I hope you. to catch Thank you very you soon. Thank you. And eat more of your sugar-free uh, keto food in your cafe or your home. <laughs> Be well. Yeah, take care. I'll see you very soon, Yanti. Thank you. Thank you. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed our session today, and so have I. Um, next week, we have a really special guest, another powerful, dynamic woman. You've heard her a lot on the radio, especially if you're on Money FM. She is none other than Michelle Martin. Yes, she's so interesting. She's a bookworm, then turned radio DJ, and turned professional listener. <laughs> so interesting. Let's find out more next week as um, for Pito Passion Project. Tomorrow, I'll be on Shopee Live, for those of you who love to shop online. And uh, Shopee is one of your go-to places. I'm going to be there at 12 o'clock on Shopee Live to talk a lot about how can we detox our scalp and detox our hair, especially with very oily skin in this hot weather of ours, you know. So you can join me tomorrow at 12. Last but not least, next Tuesday on our regular segment of Pito Hair Talk, I thought this was a great topic for us since it was so hot recently in Singapore. Is how can we have fun under the sun? How can we take care of our hair and our face? Or still, you know, being in a hot, hot Singapore. That's about it. That's all from me. I'm Lin Tan. Thank you so much, everyone, for being with us. Uh, and I hope to see you very soon. Good night. This could be the moment we've been waiting for The chance to feel alive Nothing's gonna stop us Nothing's gonna talk us Nothing like we've ever seen